Hi guys, in this video I will show you uh, the uh, simple way to create the carton using Marvelous Designer. First of all, I'm importing the model that I am create in the Maya. Uh, file import and then I'm importing the model. I'm importing with the scale of the centimeter because the my model was not was in the real world scale. So uh, now I'm importing the model and first of all I will turn it uh, around the model that I want to see because I want to see the window. So what we have to do next? Uh, now we have to create the cloth. Uh, we using the rectangle tool that we ca that we can find on the uh, toolbar on the 2D window pattern. If you don't see this uh, tool, you have to press and hold the left mouse button to reveal the menu. After that, we choose the rectangle tool, and we draw not big, not so very big rectangle. We simply draw a very small rectangle that we can then divide it in equal two parts. For uh, for that we will use uh, the edit pattern tool that we can find on the toolbar. First of all we need to divide equally so we select the edge and after that we click the uh, left mouse uh, right mouse button and choose the menu split. Uh, here we choose the uniform split and choose the default uh, value uh, and its value is 2 to divide in the equal parts of uh, our edge. Uh, then we uh, repeat the process uh, process uh, to the bottom edge. Simply select the edge, right mouse button, uh, the pop-up menu will show up and we uh, choose the split menu button. Uniform split and uh, OK. Now we have to connect these two dots using the internal polygon line, simply connecting the this is um, these two dots. After that, we have to choose the uh, tool, the folding angle, and fold this uh, this angle into V shape, something like that. Here, as you can see, we have this something like the V shape. So after that, we uh, will choose the uh, move tool and place in the right spot where we need it. Uh, we are needed in the our place that we can hang in our curtain here. So what we have to do next? Next, we have to do the holes that are that will hold our cloth in place and not uh, make they fall down. For that, we will use the internal line tool that can be found in the uh, 2D video pattern. Uh, simply hold and left mouse button and the ellipse tool will appear. Here, ellipse, we, I hold down the shift mouse button and I will draw the ellipse. As you can see, uh, the ellipse not in the place where I want it to be. I want it to be right in the middle. So I just select the button and then we will move to see that here now in the place. After that, I will duplicate this uh, shape, Ctrl C, Ctrl V, Ctrl V. And as, as you can see, I have the same pattern in the right place. After that, what I have to do, I need to cut here a hole. Select these two holes, right mouse button and choose the cut. After that, I simply deleted these two pieces. Yes, the first segment is ready. Now we have to duplicate these uh, pieces uh, to make our curtain more white. So we have to duplicate this curtain a couple times and then sew it together. Press uh, the right mouse button and reveal the paste menu uh, options uh, where you can choose how many copies do you want. I choose, for example, three copies. After that, I need to sew these uh, pieces together. I use the sew and segment tool. And after that, I use the move tool 
to bring this uh, pattern closely together. What I'm doing here, I'm simply select the pattern and move uh, closely to each other. Then I will deselect and select again. And this uh, process I will repeat over and over again. That's all. Here, almost done. Uh, all we have to do, uh, the delay the delete the internal line that will not help us to in this our simulation because it creates a very hard fault. So I simply do select selected the internal line and press the delete key button. After that, we have uh, to do one more thing, uh, and it is and it's uh, to make this hole more round. For that, I will use the stamp tape. Uh, it will make our hole more circular and not to do it and it will not deform in our simulation so i repeat this process for all holes in our curtain After that, I will press the space bar to run the simulation. And as you can see, we have the cool curtain. So if you want, if you like this tutorial, uh, you can press uh, subscribe button and the like. Uh, now uh, you can uh, tweak uh, the uh, overall shape of your curtain using the hand in the but you have to be still in the simulation mode uh, when you will have uh, the result of your curtain simply start with the simulation and the curtain is ready ready for export to uh, another package uh, something like mark 3, 3ds max or Maya. okay guys cheers bye